Vou tomar uma foto com ele. Espera no lonche porque se não. Sim. Espera no lonche, eu estou aqui. Espera no lonche. Sim. Ok? Sim. A mim pode para que eu aqui. Mas que me acaba de falar. Não anda 100% chapéu. Chapin, apaga el compresor, ¿no, bicho? Apaga el compresor, si no va a estar prendido toda la tarde. ¿Puedes trabajar el domingo, Chapin? So shit it, I use pass inspection. Uh, remember I told you last time to leave an, about an eighth of an inch of uh, for the plywood expansion. And uh, you see how I do, I start with uh, full and then half, full, half, full, full, full and then go, go like that. Don't ever like overlap, you know what I mean? Don't ever uh, let the seams, you know, like be in the same uh, rafter because you're gonna lose the strain. So always, you know, overlap like half and full, half and full, like if you're installing bricks, the same same system, so it'll be strong. Uh, <clears throat> what else? Over there, we had like a little dip and we have to fix it. We put some new rafters. And we have to like even it up a little bit, not perfectly, but it was better than it was. I raised it about four inches in the middle. And then I put a, a 22 feet long, uh, rafter inside sister to the existing and then nail it with 16 D nails and zigzag and then I put the ship lap back I mean the one by six back and then the plywood on top anyway this is gonna be presidential TL color is charcoal black uh, they told me to use a uh, serenteed uh, <coughs> diamond deck uh, roofing underlayment I don't know why so I can get the the diamond warranty or whatever they call it anyway it's the same thing to me it doesn't make no difference but anyway um uh, i'll show you how to do the details around the skylight you see i got skylights here so i'll show you how to do them okay later Hey YouTuber, uh, today I'm gonna, uh, this is the starter, usually comes like like that and then you have to fold it in the middle and then cut it like this. For all the guys that don't know out there, you can either use a tree top shingle, but I mean if you wouldn't wanna cut them, just buy them, you know, from the manufacturer. And then you buy the materials, every manufacturer have their own starter. And usually to for them to uh, to validate the warranty on the material, they want you to use their own product. So in this case, I'm using a Serenity Diamond Deck. It's for Serenity Presidential TL. Uh, it don't matter what kind of one you but as I, like I said before, if you want to use the warranty, you know, the manufacturer's warranty, then you have to use their own products. In this case, I'm using Serenity uh, <coughs> roofing underlayment, and I'm going to install the. Uh, I'm installing the, the starter strip. Okay. See on the edge. Remember, guys, on the edge, always okay, flip it uh, upside down, so that way. Simon, that way the the thing will stick to the metal. Yeah, chopping. On that side, I'm going to, the the glue has to stick up, and the, over there on the sides, on the gables, the glue has to stay down so it'll stick to the metal and doesn't let the water pass onto the gable. But I'll show you when I get it done. Okay guys, today I'm going to teach you a little bit how to install the starter. 
Okay. You have to leave about like a, a quarter, a half inch on the thing. What I do, I usually put my finger like this, and when I touch the the metal with my finger, fold it like this. That's my that's my uh, my line. This line. And then I put the other one and go like this. Always, you know, flip it upside down. You bat it here, put a nail here, and then from the top you just eyeball it, and then you. When you have it aligned, just nail it. See it like that. Make sure your nails are not crooked or or you know too deep because otherwise the starter is not gonna be good anyway. You're gonna have the shingles on top, but it's not to worry. Don't worry too much if you blow to the starter, but also usually adjust your your gun pressure so that way you don't have to uh, blow the shing I mean nails through. Okay, you see how easy? Remember, right here, you have a, uh, you have the black glue right here. Uh, this one has to stick to the, to the edge metal. I learned this when I was working for a company. We had an OSHA inspector, oh, eight hours of the uh, working day, and he told me to do that. He didn't like us to put it like. Uh, you know, face up because go because then then the water is gonna go through. So, and it makes sense. Uh, before you install anything, make sure you go to the manufacturer specifications, read their uh, their brochures about the installation, and hopefully you learn. Hopefully you can get a better idea. See, I'm done with that side. This side tomorrow I'm gonna install it. It's gonna be presidential teal. Okay, this is the pro starter. Well, I call it pro starter. This is made by uh, Serenity. The starter that I'm installing today is made by Serenity. And also the paper is made by Serenity. The ridge is made by Serenity. Everything is made by them in order for me to get the, uh, war the warranty, the diamond pledge warranty. But anyway, uh, on top of that, on the bottom, only on the bottom, okay guys? You have to use the presidential starter for the first course. So the first course has two layers. It has the regular starter or pro starter, whatever you call it. And then he has the presidential starter. I'll teach you how to install it tomorrow. Bye. And then you nail it on the sides. A ver, Chapin, pisa el equipo. No hay que levantarlo más. Espérate, lo voy a poner. Espérate. Es que el chichón. That's how you do it, man. Yeah. Un poquito nomás. Hey, YouTubers, uh, before I forget, uh, today, uh, I'm gonna show you a trick about fascia board. Um, some people, when you know, like this this fascia board, it's about 27 feet, and they don't make it on 27 feet unless you order a special order, and it costs you a lot of money. So, but if you want to make a long, long fascia, and then uh, you know you don't have to do a 45 in the middle, just do like a how do you call it? Uh, I splice it like in a, in a B, like this. You see how we did it? I cut it, and then I I cut this one like in a B, and then I just as light it in and then uh, I hit it with the hammer on the other side and then uh, I'm gonna show you how I did it before I marked the center and then I threw a chuck line let's say like this it was like this and then I cut it like this and then this piece I put on top of this one and then I cut it like this and now I'm gonna nail it here yes This is how you do the 45. Para que aprendan hijos de puya. Vamos a enseñar chapín. And this is how we did the joint. So right here later we can cut it and then paint it and then nobody's gonna know that there's two pieces together. And you see now we have a 27 feet long facial board, right? No 45. Just do like that. 
I don't know what that called, but I just call it like a, a V, V joint. I don't know, so it's somebody, some of the, this one was taught to me by a friend of mine who's a framer. And it has a lot of strength, you see it? I put a lot of nails on the one side, I put a lot of nails on the other side, see it? Got it? Learn it. Ya se fue sobre la escalera, de los chinos. Entonces va a bajar de ahí Martín o qué? Va a bajar de ahí todo de ahí. Oh, ¿Quieres la baja, güey? No, qué puta. ¿Si quieres? No. ¿Tienes? No, si tú vas a sacar los cortes, ¿para qué pijas quiero yo? Esas dos navajas están buenas. Ahí está Chucho. Ahí está Chucho. No te preocupes. Make sure that you cover this lap right here. Con el chingo, ok? No se mire. So you, you, don't, you have to see this lap. You have to cover it like this. So it looks all black, blacky. Ya pone el otro acá, chacín. Ya está, para la camioneta. Ahí me lleva en verguiza. Para abajo, para abajo, Martín. Okay, I've seen some guys when they do presidential, they usually leave it like this. That looks ugly guys, okay? And today I'm going to teach you the proper way to do it. So please pay attention. I did it because sometimes I go to presidential uh, repairs. Okay, I'm going to put it here. Okay? There you go. There you go. There you go. There you Así se hace el jali, vali. Parrandero, este, Charlito, que no sabe hacer presidencial. Ahí te va, güey. Para que aprenda. Make sure you use a spider, ¿ok? Put it right here. Ok. Spider. Cabrones, aprenda. Te voy a tener que buscar a aquel gallo porque te una raza a ti. ¿Qué? Con el que andaba. ¿Qué putas? Okay, this is how it's supposed to look, okay? You see how different it looks? Better, professional, please don't do your, your Mickey Mouse jobs. Okay, Felipe, así hazlo. Le pones un pedazo presidencial aquí, acá, starter, yeah. Okay, you put a piece of uh, starter, 
Tarde, 22. Bye. Felipe, te voy a enseñar cómo se hace el pinche Hali Bali. I'm gonna teach Felipe how to do the dormer bends. Okay, toma ahí, le pones el pinche video. Tienes que echar mastic, bicho, y luego le tienes que poner este, un star, y ok, like this. Right here. Mira, feo. Sí, yeah, like this. Put a piece of star, like this. Como, como clavo, ¿Ah? yeah. mm, no nada. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you how to use the, you know, the, the end cuts from the on that side. Use them over here. You see it? This is like a little puzzle. It goes like here. This one goes here, like this. Make sure it has the little notch right here. Okay. I'll show you how to do those. That guy saved me the pieces so I can use them right here. And so that way I can do it faster. No mira nada usted, don Martín. Chucho, vámonos, let's go. My wife was only joking. She said, don't pay him till it rains. <laughs> you tell her to bring a hose up here. Actually, we're supposed to have some rain this weekend. Yeah, I put. Usted cree marinero? ¿Puede creer lo que es este cabrón chamaco?